Hello everybody, this is Rollo with Winter Bros, and in this video segment we're going to demonstrate how to get a quick preview of your scene uh, for the iRay rendering engine using the view in the uh, viewport. We went ahead and loaded a scene that we've created earlier uh, for the Genesis 2 female, and what we want to do is, uh, if, you know, if you normally just have a single view for your viewport, uh, you're probably going to go ahead and to, to utilize the uh, quick preview. You're going to choose uh, one that's two or more. You can use side by side. Any of these options work. Uh, we'll just go ahead and go with the two on the right, one on the left, which will give us uh, there you go. And you can see up here in this uh, viewport up here, this little panel view, we have already uh, have it as the. Uh, you can see that it's got the Genesis 2 female. She looks kind of silvery gray. Uh, she's already in the render mode, uh, viewport mode for the iRay. Uh, so what we're going to do is, um, if you look here, if you click the little drop box here, you can do the bounding box and you can do different uh, selections. Well, let me get back to it. Uh, let's go to wireframe to show you how quick. See, so, you know, there's the wireframe mode. Uh, but if you, if you look really close at the bottom now, the DAS Studio, they have an NVIDIA iRay selection for your view. And that's what we're using. So what happens is, uh, that gives you a you can give you a quick, quick look at how the it's going to look with the iRay rendering engine. Um, so you might, uh, and you set it up that way. Now, if it slows down your machine, or you don't, you can turn that back off and on. Just uh, close those views back to a single panel if you like, and come back to it. Now, however, uh, this um, Silver Surfer look, if you want to call it that, isn't quite what we want. So what we're going to do is, there it comes up. It finally just popped up. Uh, sometimes can a, uh, a change to view in your main viewport or even going over here and changing the engine to 3 to light and then coming back to NVIDIA uh, iRay will make that uh, show you the actual color view and this gives you a real quick look at how it's going to look in the uh, iRay render engine when you do actually uh, render your scene once it's completed uh, you won't use it very much but if you're pulling stuff in you just want to get a quick glance at how it's going to look this is the place to do it like I said you would just click here and you would choose the view type of NVIDIA iRay and you can do that in any of the panels you could do it over here too uh, you don't have to do it in the small one but just to keep things faster you might uh, you can see it came in Silver Surfer we'll go to 3 to light and then we'll come back to NVIDIA we found that that seems to it's usually it seems to pop it into color mode quicker for the uh, the NVIDIA iRay view uh, here it's not well it's still doing some thinking there at the bottom so uh, like I said, yeah, you you might not want that on all the time because it might affect your uh, your work, your production. Uh, but when you need to take a quick view to see, instead of actually doing an actual iRay render, which takes a long time, you can just do it with the view in a, in a new viewport. Uh, and then when you're done, for you users that are still not quite, you can go back here and go to single view, which will bring you back to your single view here. Of course, we have the iRay engine on here. We're going to go ahead and turn it back off. We'll go back to text or shaded, which is the uh, normally what people use, and then uh, let's give it time to catch up with us here. We hope you enjoyed this video segment, and we hope this gives you another insight into DAS Studio 4.8 and the iRay rendering engine. Have a great day.